Do you buy a lot of sewing patterns? If so, I'm going to show you how to digitalize all your sewing patterns into a catalog using Trello. This is an app version and they have a desktop version as well as a mobile app. Here is a quick overview of what the finished catalog looks like. You have three main components and think of them kind of like a computer folder. The board is a main folder. I separated my patterns based on the type of patterns. I have embroidering files, sewing patterns for myself, and kid sewing patterns. Let's click on a board to take a look. The next component is the list. Each list contains cards. I separated my list by the type of clothing, shirts and blouses, dresses, pants, etc. You can list it by brands as well, or however you want to categorize them. Cards are individual patterns. Each card is a detail of the pattern. You can insert image for references. And what I normally like to do is to search for a pattern picture online and use it as my pattern cover. You can also put in descriptions and put labels on each card. Labels are great because when you need to search for a specific pattern that contains an element, you can find it much quicker later. For my labels in this board, I color coded mine to a specific need. One color can be for a particular type of wear, like costumes or formal wear. Another type could be for a type of sleeves, short or long. And another color could be for a type of fabric to be used for the pattern. So for example, if I want to search for a pattern that are shorts and knit fabric, I would type in the search bar, hashtag shorts, hashtag knit. See, it only shows me these type of patterns across all my boards. In the mobile app, you can also search quickly using the hashtag in the search bar. I find it much quicker to set up a catalog using a desktop or a computer and not through the mobile app. There are tons of information you'll need to input. Using the hotkeys can tremendously help ease the time factor. And once all the data is inputted, you can download the app on your mobile device to view. So let's go to Trello.com and create an account. Once you create a free account, you can use up to 10 boards for free. So first, let's create a new board. So next, let's type in the name that we want for the board. For example, we'll put sewing pattern tutorial. Now, once you are in the board, you can now customize the background image for this board. You can look to your right hand side. You'll find show menu in here and you can find image that's best suit for our needs. So let's type in sewing and see what we get. This looks like a good fit for the board. Let's select this. Next. Let's create lists. This is how you'll be organizing your patterns. You can do this by brand name or a type of clothing. For mine, let's do it by type of clothing. So we'll type in dresses and press enter. This next list will be for our jackets. Under each list, you can now create cards. This will be where my patterns are located. So open up the browser and search for your pattern. I'm going to use this image online. So right click and click on copy image. Then we're going to paste this onto my card. And you can use the hotkey control V and press enter. Let's open up the card and rename the title. For mine, it'll be a simplicity and a number pattern. You can input descriptions if you want in here as well. So for labels, this one is a dress. So I'll create a label that this is a short sleeves and another one for knit fabric. Let's create another card for another dress pattern. 
So we'll copy this pattern's image and paste it onto a new card. Type in the pattern's name in the title. Let's see, simplicity and the number. And the label on this will also be labeled as short sleeves and knit fabric. So since I previously created a label for the two, I just need to select them from this menu instead of creating new labels. For the jacket list, I'll do the same as how I inputted the dress pattern, except this time I purchased my jacket through an online pattern designer. So let's search for the image, copy and paste to the card, open up that card, and edit the title and add labels. Because I have purchased this pattern online, it has a URL that I can put as an attachment. You don't have to do this, but this is totally optional. But if I want to find out where I purchased the patterns, I can always click on the link from my Trello card to find it. You can also attach the actual digital copy of the pattern in each card. The only limit for the free account is a max 10 megabytes per file. So if your file happens to exceed the 10 megabytes, you can put the file in a Dropbox account and then link the URL to your Trello card. All right, so once you've input all your information into the Trello, you'll be able to access your catalog from anywhere using an app or using your mobile devices. And thank you for watching.